Does it really matter if you do a job neatly or sloppily as long as it gets done? Let's go find out. Hi kids, I was just about ready to draw a picture. I was gonna use some crowns in this box. Oh, wait, or maybe I should do this one. Well, they look pretty similar on the outside at least. But inside? The last person who used this box, they put all the crowns, the markers, the pencils back very neatly. So it makes it easier to find when we need them. But look at this box. Whoever put this away obviously didn't care. They were probably in a huge hurry and they just threw everything in there and they did a really sloppy job. Well, it's gonna take a lot longer to find what I need in a box like this than in a box like this. You guys have jobs too. You could rush and get them done really fast because you wanna move on to something else and end up doing it really sloppily or you can take your time to do your job right and make sure it's done neat and orderly. Does it really matter when we do things orderly? Well, it might not bother you if something looks like this and it's all mixed together, but it might bother somebody else. So when you are orderly, it not only affects you, it also affects the other people around you. So what if you're cleaning your house and you don't have time to put away the things where they belong? And then someone in your family comes and they trip over all your toys on the floor. You could have taken that time to be orderly and save them from a lot of trouble. So maybe you're playing with a toy that's really awesome, but you don't really want to put it back. And then someone else, they need to play with that later and they can't find it. What if you are cleaning up around the house, but you don't take time to put things back where they belong? And then someone else in your family comes and needs that thing, they will be able to find it. Being orderly with your own things can help you practice to be orderly with other people's things. But there's another reason too. The Bible says in Colossians 3.23, and whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. That means that you should do the things you do like you were doing them for Jesus. If Jesus were the one asking you to do a job or a chore, would you probably do it really well? Yeah, so that verse is saying that we should do everything we do for Jesus. So we should always do our best. So I wanna challenge you this week. When you do a job or a chore, make sure that you don't just get it done, but you do it neatly and orderly. And if you don't do it orderly, then stop, take a look at it, and upgrade that sloppy job and get it done orderly. Bye kids, go have a great time being orderly this week. See you later.